back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys how I made pumpkin swirl cheesecake for my Thanksgiving. Now I'm in Canada, so we celebrate Thanksgiving a little bit earlier and to be honest, the reason I don't have a clip of it is we ate it so fast, I didn't get a chance to record the finished product. Like what is this? So what you're gonna need is some graham cracker crumbs, some vanilla extract, cinnamon, cream cheese, sugar, butter, chopped pecans, eggs, nutmeg, and some canned pumpkin puree. I'm gonna have the exact measurements listed down below in the description bar for you guys. First, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then we are going to start on our crust. So we're going to add our two cups of crushed graham crackers, as well as our chopped pecans, and our melted butter. Then we're going to stir that until we feel it's well combined. I like to just use a fork. I find it stirs it the best way and combines it the best. Then you're going to pour it into the bottom of your cheesecake pan and press it down. Now we're gonna move on to making the actual cheesecake. The first thing is we're gonna blend together is the cream cheese, half a cup of the sugar, and the vanilla. So just add that all together into your little mixer and beat till it is well combined. After that's well blended, you're going to add in your eggs one at a time. So add one egg, blend till that's combined, add the second egg, blend till that's combined, etc., etc. Then once that is all completely mixed together, you're going to remove one cup of this batter. That is going to be the white swirl in our pumpkin cheesecake. And then we're gonna move on to making the pumpkin portion. So for the pumpkin portion of this pumpkin cheesecake, you're going to add in your pumpkin puree, the rest of the sugar, which is about a quarter cup, I believe, and then the spices, so the nutmeg. So you add that all in, and then you blend that until well blended. So now is the fun part, actually building the pumpkin swirl cheesecake. So you're gonna take your pan and basically you're going to add half of your pumpkin batter into the pan and kind of try to lay it out evenly. Then you're going to take spoonfuls of the white batter and about half of it again and just spoonful like little dots everywhere in the cheesecake. Then you're gonna continue and repeat that with the second layer, the other half of the pumpkin cheesecake, and then blobs of the white batter until all the batter is in there. Now it's time to make the swirl. This is so easy, guys. You just take a knife and basically just swirl it through the cheesecake back and forth, back and forth, until you've got this beautiful design and then you are ready to stick your cheesecake into the oven. As for putting the pumpkin cheesecake in the oven, the only thing I have to say is put a pan of water underneath. It's gonna really help prevent it from cracking. So you're gonna put it in the oven for 45 minutes and after that, the only other advice I have is just let it cool for an hour in the oven with the oven door open. Then after that, you're ready to take it out, put it in the fridge for a couple hours and devour it. Just like my family did why I don't have a clip of my end cheesecake. But that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it kind of was poopy without the actual finished product. Come on, Michelle. Anyways, that's all. I love you guys to the moon and back. Bye.